Bruce Hampton, who was known as the granddaddy of the jam scene for his energetic, eccentric guitar playing in a career that lasted five decades, died in Atlanta on Monday. He was 70. His death was confirmed on Tuesday by investigator Eric Sliz of the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office in Atlanta. Mr. Hampton, who for years called himself Colonel before officially adding the abbreviated title to his name in 2000, collapsed on stage at the Fox Theater in the waning moments of a concert in honor of his 70th birthday. According to news reports and a family statement posted on Twitter through the Tedeschi Trucks band, whose members were in attendance, the concert, billed as, Hampton 70. A celebration of call, Bruce Hampton, was coming to a close with an encore performance of the song, Turn On Your Love Light, when he collapsed, Blake Budney, manager of the Tedeschi Trucks band, said in a telephone interview. He was taken to a nearby hospital, where he died, Mr. Budney said. Last night marks both a tragic loss of one of the great musical and mystical heroes of our time, Paul, Bruce Hampton, and a celebration of a man that influenced, nurtured, and pushed the boundaries of all musicians and human beings who were lucky enough to enter his welcoming and inspirational sphere, the band said Tuesday in a statement on its Facebook page. Mr. Hampton was born April 30, 1947, according to public records. He grew up in Atlanta, according to a biography posted by Terminus Records, which lists him as one of its artists. He first gained attention in the late 1960s and early 70s as the leader of the avant-garde Hampton Grease Band, which the New York Times labeled variously as one of the more cockeyed rock groups of the era, a mischievous, mystifying group. Critics, the Times wrote, called the band's music eclectic, meaning that it drew from a number of sources, and critics could not figure out what else to call it. The Hampton Grease Band opened for a number of prominent groups, such as the Grateful Dead and the Allman Brothers Band, but it also sometimes played practical jokes. The band once opened a concert for a pop rock group by playing its own versions of that group's hits, according to a report in the Times. The move elicited booze, and the Hampton Grease Band responded with a lengthy encore. In the decades that followed, Mr. Hampton would lead, join or help form a number of other acts including the Aquarium Rescue Unit, the Fiji Mariners, and the Code Talkers. Bruce Hampton is the 1970s rock star who wasn't a comic, bearish, Dadaist spieler with a deep Georgia accent, a dolly in the body of a Southern wrestler. The Times wrote in a 2001 review. Others labeled Mr. Hampton's music, Surrealist. In a video of an interview posted in June, he was asked who he was. In an absurdist answer, he replied with a laugh, it's a mix of 103 people. I'm not sure I exist. Friends and family said Mr. Hampton was also a mentor to many musicians. With a keen eye for talent, his influence on those musicians and his dedication to aiding their Careers were perhaps the most lasting element of his legacy, they said. In a message posted on Facebook, James Forrest Hampton III identified himself as Mr. Hampton's nephew and said his uncle was also a doting relative. Mr. Hampton's survivors include his wife, Sarah, and his brother, Jim. He taught me how to be weird, James Hampton wrote in the message, and how weird was good. Many of Mr. Hampton's associates also noted the fortuitous but seemingly appropriate end to the musician's life. Bruce was the only person I could think of who has ever played at his own funeral. Because in essence, that's what he did, said Scott McKinney, a bluegrass musician known as Fudd who said in a telephone interview that he had known Mr. 
Hampton more than 20 years. Bruce couldn't script it any better.